Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to share with you guys the top five features that's a part of Samsung One UI 3.0 with Android 11. Now before we go inside of these top five features, I'm going to answer a few questions that I get in every single video about Samsung One UI 3.0, and the first question I always get is when is this available for me to download for the public beta? I know it was available for the Galaxy S20 series on T-Mobile. I believe also there was another version, or maybe that same version, was pulled back and then soon to be re-released very soon, so if you're always curious always go into samsung members it's an application go inside of samsung members every single day take a look at those banners seeing if you're able to uh, sign up some people don't care about the beta they want to know when is it publicly released here's the uh, question number two the public release should be the very end of november or the very beginning of december Betas always last about six to eight weeks. So now that we got that out of the way, let's move over inside of the top five. Now this first one that I like is going to be with the lock screen. So when it comes down to the lock screen, it has changed completely. When you tap on the time up over here, it's gonna show you the screen. But one of the things I wanted to show you is this addition of digital well-being. So you can see that the screen time is right here. You don't have to unlock your phone, get into your phone to get the screen on time information. It's actually pretty nice it's sitting right there. Now I also want to show you uh, a couple more widgets with the screen on time. So for example when you go inside of widgets and then when you scroll over inside of digital well-being which is going to be right up over here there is additional widgets. So on Samsung One UI 2.5 there was only one option uh, which I believe is this one right here but now you can see that there's actually three different options that you're able to use. Uh, you can also notice that with my details, it's not gonna really show too much. This is not my, my main driver phone, so there's not too many uh, details going on here, but you can see that there is quite a few more options. And I just like the fact that it's a part of your uh, lock screen widgets, so this way you don't have to unlock your phone just to take a look at these details. A lot of people do care how much time they're using their phone. And since we're still talking about widgets, I'm gonna kind of merge these two together. When you go inside of any application, when you press and hold on an app, you'll actually be able to go right inside of the widgets from there. So this way you don't have to go through a separate screen. If you know that you wanna add in maybe a friend's location as a widget, you don't have to go on your regular screen where you press and hold and then you go to widgets and then you try to find the maps. If you know exactly which one of these applications has a widget that you would like to use, just simply again, find that application, press and hold, hit widgets, and then you just add in whatever you wanted to use onto your home screen. Feature number two is going to be the volume rocker. Now I know to a lot of people this might not be a big deal, maybe some people don't even like it, but just the way that it looks, the way that it operates, I am a pretty big uh, fan of this one. It's on the right hand side, it's not on the top. Again, something easier for you to manipulate manipulate and change with your one thumb and you know kind of that, that one-handed operation the way that uh, Samsung One UI is meant to be. So the nice thing is that you can also open this up. You can change your volume over here for the settings, the notifications, your media, the volume of the phone, of the ringtone. Uh, you have your live caption up there as well too. And then you can go right inside of your settings. And this is where you can change the volume keys for media. So this screen here is not any different than from before. But when you do take a look at, and you compare it over into Samsung One UI 2.5, just to kind of show you, it does look a little different. And I think that it is a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, but that's pretty much about it. You know, your little live caption is over here on the bottom. It's a toggle. It's not really an icon. I feel like uh, icons are gonna be a big deal when it comes out to future uh, updates as well. So again, that live caption there, that'll work with almost anything that has, has audio. If you're watching a movie, if you're watching Netflix, if you're watching YouTube, if you're on a phone call and you wanna still know what's going on without the volume being loud, someone's maybe sleeping next to you, you get to see what's going on on the screen. Some people don't use it for phone calls, uh, but it's a really good thing to use. Feature number three will be dealing with the battery and that's just taking a look at all of the graphs. I'm so glad that they went back to the old style of what they used to use. So when you go inside of your battery uh, information and then you go to battery right there, you can see how long it's actually been off the charger. On Samsung One UI 2.5, it kind of just shows you a time frame. It doesn't really give you any specifics. Sometimes I like to know exactly how many hours, how many minutes, you know, it's been off of the charger. You can see it sitting right there. And then when you go inside of here, you can and, uh, you know see another graph now you can see also too that my battery life is is pretty insane but again you know this thing is not really uh, my daily driver so let's say that we go right up over here uh, we're gonna go down over inside of the device care we go inside of the battery uh, so you can see here if we if I was to move on back this is the screen difference 
you're going to have a graph that's sitting right here. In order for you to see it over here, you have to actually tap on that graph usage. And then inside of here, you can also get more detailed information. They have the seven days right there, but if you want to see the seven days over here, you just tap it. You can see that it's been off for a couple days. I'm just usually using it just for YouTube. I might throw the SIM card back in there, uh, but I have been switching between the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the Google Pixel 5, as well as the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So kind of a lot of phones to go with, but the, the battery usage display is so much better. I don't know why they went with something like, like this. Uh, for me, this is just a big, big update. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy devices, and especially these early looks at Samsung One UI 3.0, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, YouTube is telling me about 81% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. I know a lot of you come back and revisit, so you might as well hit that subscribe button. I have awesome content for you guys daily. Feature number four is the way that you're able to edit photos and then you can actually revert back to them. So let's say that we take a look at this photo here. I've shown a video just a couple days ago on this one feature alone, uh, but this is definitely a part of the top five. So when you go through and you hit on edit, let's say again that we zoomed on in and let's say that we put in you know, one of the, uh, the filters. And when you go through and you hit on save, now this is gonna be the new image. On Samsung One UI 2.5, there would actually be two images. So you're kind of cluttering your gallery and maybe you don't need the original, you only want this one here that you edited. So now it's looking the way that you want it. Now, the nice thing that's about this is let's say that you needed to go back to the original image. Maybe there's a couple changes you wanted to do. When you hit on edit, you have revert. So on Samsung One UI 2.5, there was no option to go back to the original. Now when you hit on save, now this is the photo that is saved in your phone. It's actually really cool, super smart, uh, and an awesome addition. And then the very last one, feature number five, is going to be double tap to turn off the screen. So if you've ever just looked at your phone and sometimes you just wanna give it a quick double tap without hitting the power button to, to turn it off or wait for it to turn right back on, uh, you're able to do a double tap to turn off the display. You can see there that the fingerprint sensor, it reacts a lot faster. That is one of the other improvements with this. So when you go inside of your settings, Let's say that you want to scroll on down and you're going to look at your advanced features. Now, inside of the advanced features, you're going to scroll down to where it says motions and gestures. Now, inside of here, this is where you have that double tap to wake. You also still have your lift to wake. Then here is your double tap to sleep. So all I got to do is simply turn this thing on and you want to make sure you're at a home screen, double tap it, and then it's going to go to sleep. Now that was the last one, but I'm going to show you a bonus here and it's, it's going to make its own video maybe in the future when more applications are added. But with Samsung One UI 3.0 soon about to be coming out, GoodLock has been updating and updating and adding more and more modules to this. Earlier, there was only like one or two apps that was sitting inside of here. Uh, underneath unit, I think there was only one. So when you go through, some of these are gonna state that there was updates for Samsung One UI 3.0. So let's say that we go inside of Clockface. This is gonna be one of those that says that it's pre-preparation for Samsung One UI 3. So they're getting ready. Uh, not all of the GoodLock applications are ready yet. So if you're somebody who loves GoodLock, you have everything set up on your phone, even if you're wanting Samsung One UI 3.0, there's a lot of them that's not ready yet. Uh, some of these right here for the family is getting ready, uh, but there's still a lot of changes that they need to do right here inside of the regular units. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,